one Wayne from the CERN and Earth in Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to do a quick update on what you can find in the night skies during the month of October. So without any further ado, let us load up our sky simulator software and take a quick look at what we can find in our skies. So here we are standing in front of the CERN and Earth and Space Center. We have our date set for October 15th, so right in the middle of the month, and our time is set for 9 o'clock at evening. Uh, it's about two hours after the sun sets, which is the best time to go outside. And you'll notice, if you've been keeping along with our videos, that, well, it's a little bit earlier than our videos have been for our monthly sky uh, tours. Uh, it's about an hour earlier. Normally we've been doing it at 10 o'clock, and that's because we are moving into fall where the days are getting shorter and nighttime is falling earlier. So you don't have to stay up quite so late to get a good look at some nice dark skies. If you go out around 9 or 10 o'clock, you'll have much better vision now looking up at the stars than you would have, say, a month ago in the middle of summertime. And there is a lot of stuff for us to look at. So we're in October and heading into autumn. Uh, there's still a few of our summertime stars that we can see. And if we start by looking right to the west over here, then we'll be able to see this familiar shape of Hercules the warrior standing right here. Let me bring up the artwork so we can see Hercules fighting with the snakes up there in the sky. So Hercules is going to be in the west, not visible for too much longer, maybe another week or so. You'll be able to see Hercules, and then you'll have to wait until next year to see him again. And if we look higher up, well, then we can start to see our summer triangle. It's still visible in the fall, but it is much further towards the west. Well, just to recap that, we have the constellations of Lyra the Harp, Cygnus the Swan, and Aquila the Eagle. I'll bring up the artwork for those as well. There those all are. So all of these summertime groups of stars are still going to be visible for a little while longer, but they are heading down towards the western horizon, and pretty soon you won't be able to see them in the nighttime sky anymore. You'll have to wait a little bit longer. Now, if we continue working our way towards the southern part of the skies, then we'll see some pretty cool things. We have a nice bright moon here on October the 15th, but right next to that moon... We have a very bright object, and that is the planet Jupiter. And not too far away from that is the planet Saturn. So you have some nice solar system objects to take a look at during the month of October. They're going to be almost directly towards the south, right around 9 o'clock at night. And they should be very, very bright, especially Jupiter. So if you get out there and take a look and you see something really bright looking back at you, it's probably that planet Jupiter. Now, if we continue our way across the sky, if we look higher up here towards the sort of southeast, but high up in the sky, we see the four stars that make up this nice bright square of Pegasus. Oops, there we go. There's Pegasus, the flying horse, and then coming off of the tail end of Pegasus, we have the Princess Andromeda. Uh, if you remember from a couple of videos ago, uh, all of these shapes were tied together along with Perseus and Cetus, the sea monster in that fantastic story about Perseus and Andromeda. Uh, let's bring up the artwork here so we can see the horse and the sacrificial princess and her mother, Queen Cassiopeia, right over here. All of those are going to be coming up out of the eastern part of the sky. Um, Perseus is right below them here. And they're all relatively bright, especially Cassiopeia. Um, Andromeda, you can see in that great square of Pegasus, is going to be pretty bright as well. So you should be able to see those very easily. And if you don't remember the story that ties all of these characters together, I do recommend you go back and take a look at that video from a few weeks ago, where we told the whole story based on Greek myth about all of these characters. And you can see them all in the sky uh, tonight on October the 15th. Well, thank you everyone for taking a look at the October skies with me today. Again, my name is Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe for more of our weekly space content. But most importantly, remember to get out there and take a look at your nighttime skies.